The portable USB-C hubs can be great when traveling, but when working from home, I find its uh, connectivity is quite limiting due to the, you know, the number of ports. That's where the basis USB-C dock of this form comes into play. And I'll walk you through uh, its functions and all the ports. I'm using a 4K portable monitor in front, connecting uh, connected to a MacBook Pro 16 inch with M1 Pro chip. And it's ch also charging. Um, so the one most important thing to notice is that this dock requires its own power supply which consumes 2.2 uh, watts when there is absolutely no load connected and when it's working at least 5.8 watts for those of you curious if that matters. Um, so uh, constant 2.2 watts of power consumption and the laptop is also charging via this um, type C cable provided by this basis dock here to the one on the right and also carries the data connection as well this white cable goes to the 100 watts basis charger on the wall and a 60 watts to 100 watts is really recommended because this is a monster that co that consumes 120 watts max charging power it is currently charging at almost 60 watts so this uh, hub has three USB-C, actually five USB-3.0 uh, connections in the form of USB-A and two USB-C. These are USB-3.0 and they, I believe they share five gigabits per second connection and you can also find two SD card reader on top, headphone jack. This uh, stand can be removed Okay, in the back, we have three HDMI uh, outputs, but for the Mac users, Mac OS here only supports one as extended desktop. Um, even if you connect uh, two monitors to these two ports in the back, you can only get mirrored images from the external display here. Uh, that will be three of these exact content on the same screen, on the on three different screens. Um, so you, you can essentially get A and B and B, B. But for Windows users, you may get A, B, C, three screens with this one turned off. Okay. And you also get USB 2.0 ports, which is great for connecting like a USB dongle for, for the keyboards and mouse. Uh, down here, that's its own power supply, which we just talked about right here. This is its power brick. So if you disconnect the power, well, actually it is fine because this thing is kind of responsible for supplying power to the uh, all these USB ports if you are using it as a dock. So yes, you can disconnect it without any problem uh, as the external um, charger is supplying the power. If I, let's see what happens. If we disconnect this guy, it also works. For MacBook Pro 16 inch here with one connection to the hub, it's actually acting as a USB-C hub, uh, you know, portable hub like this for a second, then it will disconnect. Yeah, so uh, always supply power to the hub. And ideally, you know, plug in its power source like this. I believe it will come back online in just a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a 4K display back there. Yeah, it looks like I need to disconnect this cable or uh, maybe the connection is loose. All right, we're back online. So yeah, 
uh, for uh, those of you who has a uh, external hard drive with a USB-C port, you can just directly connect it to the hub and then we'll gain access to the external drive right there. Uh, and don't have to worry about, um, you know, um, converting this USB-C to USB-A. So additionally, you can plug in iPhone to charge from all these ports. Uh, SD card reader and plugging a headphone set here. So you will get, uh, you know, just do one simple cable connection to, uh, from the MacBook to the dock and you will get access to headphones, external hard drives, uh, or anything, like all the external accessories you can think of. There is also a ethernet port in the back. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.